we set up various benefit plans. Uh, we using benefit plans, we create benefit programs and we assign these benefit programs to different employees and we enroll depending upon the what uh, employees interest, we enroll them into various benefit plans of the benefit program. Mm -hmm. Okay. So and in the case of benefit administration, uh, most of the manual things related to base benefits are automated. Okay. Then e-benefits is a self-service functionality related to benefits. Using e-benefits, employees can log into the system and they can review their current benefits information. Uh, and if they are undergoing any, uh, uh, what is it, uh, lifestyle changes like uh, getting uh, blessed with a baby or getting married, they can review their benefits information and they can update their benefits information. Say, if the employee is getting married, then immediately they want to include their spouse in the organization provided health insurance. Correct. Health insurance. Or uh, they want to update uh, their nominee details in uh, life insurance plans or pension plans. Or mm -hmm. if they are getting blessed with a baby, they want to include the new family member in the organization provided health insurance plan. So all these things we can do it through e-benefits. Okay. 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 So, and to uh, take care of uh, payroll processing, PeopleSoft provides three different models. Mm -hmm. One is uh, NA payroll, catering to the requirements of US and Canada. The other one is mm -hmm. global payroll, uh, catering to the requirements of remaining countries. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, if you want to uh, implement payroll just for the sake of US and Canada. If you if your organization is confined to US and Canada, and if you want to process a payroll, then you can use NA payroll, North American payroll. Okay, for US and Canada, it's NA payroll. Okay. NA payroll. Okay. And if for other countries, we can use global payroll. Okay. So that can be customized for any any countries. Yeah, you can. I mean, um, you can use it for any country. In fact, including US also, you can. I mean, for US also, you can use global payroll. Okay, so okay. that's global payroll or local payroll? Global. Global, okay, sorry. Global payroll. Okay, global payroll is um, for all remaining countries, where, whereas NA payroll is uh, specific to US and Canada. You can use NA, North American payroll, only for US and Canada. I understand. I understand. Okay. And in fact, global payroll comes out with around 20 country extensions. People have provides certain country specific functionalities uh, in terms of 20 countries, including India, US, mm -hmm. uh, and most of the developed countries like uh, Australia, UK, Belgium, Hong Kong, mm -hmm. Singapore, China, Thailand, and so on. Okay, so global okay. payroll is not around 20 country extensions. Say if you take uh, mm, India, we have got certain inner specific components like uh, say what LTA, medical allowance, okay, provident fund. <coughs> These are specific to Indian payroll only. Leave travel allowance, okay. travel allowance uh, what, uh, provident fund, okay, uh, um, what is it? Medical, uh, I mean, um, medical insurance is part of, I mean, we can uh, deduct medical insurance from our taxable income. So people have provided certain components related to uh, uh, this functionality. I understand. Yeah. <laughs> in general, uh, extension. Okay, so mm -hmm. uh, in a similar uh, similar way people have provided uh, certain functionality related to uh, around 20 uh, countries in global payroll. Okay. okay. <laughs> then uh, apart from these people who provides uh, a payroll interface, sometimes some organizations will be using core HR, people of core HR and a third party payroll system. They will outsource payroll to a third party like uh, ADP. Correct. Hmm. Right. So in that case you can exchange data in between your core HR and third party payroll system using uh, payroll interface. Hmm. 